Yeah, so what is the, in your opinion, you know, what's the music scene like in Pittsburgh today? Well, I think it's, you know, a bunch of younger cats now, you know, younger people. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are trying to play the music the way, the way they feel it, I guess, you know. Brought to them courtesy of some education. Right, education. And but see, when the, in, the, in my day, you didn't have to go to college to learn how to play no music. This is true. You yeah, had a lot of right. venues right. there, and the, you know, like you said, the musicians' club and places like Your that. Your school was when you got on that bandstand. Right. If, if you didn't meet the approval of the cast that were up there, you know, you had to go home and learn. Yeah, go home mm -hmm. and get yourself together. You know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I learned from cats like Booney Hazel and Horace Turner. Wow. Got Horace Turner played every instrument you could name, just about you know, yeah. cats like that, and they would, they would. If he wasn't doing it, they'd let you know, hey, wait a minute now, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We like you, but we don't, we don't like what you play. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Joe Westray told me one time, he says, what planet, what planet are you on, Murphy? What planet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said, okay, Joe. He said, come on back with me now, you know. Mm -hmm. and he was, there was a guy who, to me, was uh, the heaviest cat in town because everybody, it was anybody, had played with Joe West or his dad. And Joe was a great musical educator. And he was uh he ended up being uh, the final president of our union right. in 471 mm -hmm. because when uh, when we lost the club in East Liberty, Joe had Joe also was wealthy. He had a he had West Ray Plaza. West Ray Plaza. So he moved I was in the service when the when the when the Transition. club went down. And so when I come out, Joe says uh, they were trying to merge at the time. Yeah. So Joe said, Murph, don't go for that. He said, because if you go for that, I said, we're going to lose everything. And he was right. Mm. Because we won, the, we won the issue. What was the issue? The issue was that it was a segregated union. Mm -hmm. So the, the case, from what I got, it, see, I wasn't here. Mm -hmm. But the case was uh, taken to, I guess, to the federal court, I guess. Yeah, they, they had, uh, in, 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 in fact, uh, Chuck Austin, again, I, I mentioned Chuck, uh, was... Uh, Played an in, uh, integral part of, of uh, that lawsuit. Okay. Yeah. He and uh, they had an attorney come in, and the idea was that they they weren't, you know, they were there. They were like the handle on the cup, mm. <laughs> you know, but uh, they weren't. They were there, but they were on the outside. Mm -hmm. And so the you know whatever gigs uh, people of color had would be up in the you know in their own venues That's in right. the hill. That's right. And you couldn't come downtown and play. Uh, Duke uh, Spalding, who uh, looked like, you know, he, if you looked at him very quickly, you would think that he was white because, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, he, uh, he, he, he never passed mm -hmm. for white, but they assumed he was, thought, so he yes. didn't say, you never ask, so I didn't, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. well, don't ask, don't, don't tell. tell. <laughs> <laughs> so he played, you know, he was able to play some gigs, but uh, for, the, for the most part, the, the, like you said, the, the, the union, when they t wanted to uh, merge, it became a real detriment to the life and the, the, the energy and electricity that was once 471. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, I, I, again, um, excuse me for making so many references to Chuck, but Chuck was my mentor right. in many, many ways, and I loved him dearly. But one of the things he used to say, when that merger came, it became 60, not 60-471. He said it was 60 minus yeah, 471. That's right. well, it should have been 471-60 because... 471 won the case, yeah. mm -hmm. but all the officers stayed in 60. 60. And you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what Joe Westray told me not to go for. Yeah. Joe, you vote for that merger, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I didn't, I didn't bother mm -hmm. with it. So, so and, and when was 471 formed? 1908. 1908. 1908. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When was 60 formed? After that. After. I think so. Yeah, so yeah, you know, I don't know first should that. always be first. Well, they had, don't go out there in America. <laughs> this is America, man. This, this is America. not the way they play. They didn't play that no, too that way. No, no, no. <laughs> don't do it like that here. But okay. uh, the, the reason why I, I, th I think uh, uh, we have such a difficulty 
And I think it's so important to have what we're having here. Uh, Carl, you're, you know, let's say you're a survivor of 471, right. and, <clears throat> and you knew exactly what, what went on and, and who the musicians were and, and the impact it had on, on, on the community. But it, the more and more I realize uh, when you looked at the whole Hill District and that whole sense of it was its own community. It was no doubt. Everything that you would want was there. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. The the music, the entertainment, the food, the clothing, the you the style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was and was then style. Uh, you know, so you had everyone. And the interesting part, as I said, I, I mentioned before, the the musicians, the, the black musicians, couldn't play downtown. But a lot of those musicians who played downtown could come up. Oh and yeah, man! They sit in and were welcome to come mm -hmm. up and sit in because mm -hmm. they were learning. Yeah. yeah, they were coming up and learning. What always amazed me, they never had a club. Right. You know, they never had a club. They had a had a little room down there in the in the union. In the forms, union on Forbes, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, they never had the uh, freedom to express themselves in the venue. Mm -hmm. Until George Romero and them came here, and, and they had that late image over there. Late the image, yeah. yeah. And you could go over there, but that that wasn't you. It wasn't too many black people invited over there. I see. I just went over there just to make sure I saw. Just so you were represented. represented. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They treated me all right, but I, I saw it. I asked the cat one day. I said, "How come ain't no more black people coming in here?" Hmm. I said, "You know, we've got all these musicians. You should be." Used to be you guys come up to our places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't have no answer, man. Yeah. Now, I knew about the late image because my good friend, uh, my high school buddy, we graduated there, uh, Russ Striner. Okay. And he was part of that late image with George. And uh, I, re I remember them down on, on um, uh, the Boulevard of the Allies. Right. Yeah. That's exactly right. And, and, uh, but I didn't realize that they would, they had, what, they had a club there? Well, like, it was just like, you know, little cats come in and, uh, and, and jam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you had, had that freedom because it was like dedicated to the arts, all kind right, of arts, right. you know, especially uh, visual arts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that's where the white cats went to have their little secret sessions. Mm -hmm. So I said, I ain't going to get away with that. So I, I went on with the cats, so I went on down. You know, I was respected because I played with a lot of white mm -hmm. cats sure. too. Mm -hmm. It never bothered me, you yeah. know. Right. But I just didn't like to see that they didn't share like we share. Yeah. And I, I think that was another uh, dimension to why the, it was so important to have what we, you know, uh, recognize as 471 and, and the, the whole Hill District, you know, uh, sense of unity and family. And right. That, that was all very important. But the thing that, that the racism that was clearly there was, was not as prevalent if at all, among the musicians. I think there was such a respect mm -hmm. for what you did and being able to make music together that, at least from my perspective, I, I, I didn't see as much. Right, right. There was, a, there was an, always a welcoming, an opening, you know, of arms and, and an embracing because you were doing what I like and I wanted to learn what you were doing, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. So that's that's that was the good part about it. And oh, I think yeah. that uh, they were able to overcome some of the craziness <laughs> that, that went on in, in in venues and establishments where they'd say, "Well, it's white only; you can't play here." You know that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, you'll never, you'll never, I, I don't think we'll ever have what was once, you know, noticed as 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 uh, its own little city. Uh, Hill District and, and the music and the arts and all of that was there. Well, was they don't want you to have that no more. See, that's too much like having what your side of things. Well, you know, they got everybody coming in here, Arabs and Koreans and everybody else from all over the world, and they can set up venues. They can have all the restaurants in the world. But we can't have anything that pertains to our culture and what we want. What I'm saying is this: not to knock anybody's culture or anybody's race, but we were here. You see what I'm saying? To me, I'm not trying to make it political, but I'm looking at life like this. We've been here since the beginning of the, of the whole setup in this country. And we're still in, this, in a position where we got to accept what everybody else wants us to accept. 
You understand what I'm saying? It's and that's not very fair mm -hmm. to my way of thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm too old now to do anything about it. But, but in, in defense of, of, of the, the changes that you do see, there are a lot of uh, young people now that are coming up and saying, well, wait, this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, and, I, I and, noticed that. And, and uh, I, I, think we're, I, I think that's going by the way side. It's not, it's not gone. Never it's married. not gone. <laughs> because it's, 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 it's financial. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it, uh, what is that? Uh, the green speaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, but you, you look at uh, how we've been able to uh, grow musically, mm -hmm. artistically. Oh, we've yeah. always been in the forefront and, uh, and have been leaders and examples and uh, uh, models for, for young people. And that's, yeah. a, that's that's another aspect of what is so vital and so vibrant in, in Pittsburgh. There, are uh, not enough, but there are still young people who are coming up that, that get a taste of this music mm -hmm. and want to know more. And that's how the history, and you know, is going to be passed on. You know? Well, well, I'd like to say here that you know this music that we call jazz. Mm -hmm was created here in America in some small, isolated, little town, village, community. And over the years, it has grown into other little pockets, you know, the Pittsburgh, the Kansas City, the Chicago's, you know, all of that. But in the new millennium, this music is in Argentina, mm. it's in Tokyo, it's in Senegal, wow. it's in London, you know, it's all over the world. World music. And, and, and you know, looked at uh, Roy Haynes' band yeah. that came in a few yes. months ago. Uh, you know, we have a man from Massachusetts and he has a bass player that was born in Brooklyn of Chinese descent, a piano player that was born in Florida of Cuban descent, Cuban descent. you know, and a horn player born in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, that's an example of what the music is today. And it is our, I believe anyway, it is our collective responsibility to do all we can to keep it within our own expression. So there, 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 there's work to be done. There are all kinds of things that we, you know, have to do to keep it in our expression. So, uh, for instance, when you had the conference here on the uh, inauguration of the plaque for the, the right, union, right, right. The, the, the two gentlemen from Philadelphia that run the Clef Club, mm -hmm. you know, that's something that's here today and is still going on in that tradition and is teaching students like the young man that was playing alto with Roy Haynes, yeah. uh, Jaleel Shaw, yes. you know, he's a student of that and it's, you know, bringing people along steadily. So I think that, you know, it is unfortunate that the many venues that we had in the various communities. I'm from Brooklyn. I know that experience. You know, yeah. what, you, mm -hmm. what you had in the hill existed in Bed-Stuy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it doesn't exist anymore like it did. There are many attempts to sprout flowers, so to yeah. speak. Yeah. You know, and that's what we all have to do. We just have to, you know, take our little space and do all we can with it that we can. No, that sounds was good, but I listened to him. Keep the fire Lester, Lester Young made a statement when he came out of the service. The great saxophonist. Mm -hmm. He says, I can't get a job. He said, because everybody's playing like me. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you can teach people, mm -hmm. but you end up unemployed because of <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Everybody's <laughs> playing. Not always like, yeah, positive. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Prince that's, said that. That's, 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 I, I, and, and I can respect that. Mm-hmm. I can respect that because I know uh, many musicians today that wouldn't be making a living if it wasn't be for the fact that they have a job teaching this is other true. people. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. that's you know the reality of their case. They wouldn't have educated a place to like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I, I think it's so important to re- remember the history and celebrate that because that's your springboard for what's going to be happening in the future. What's happening today? What's right. going to be happening in the future? Mm-hmm. You got to have a basis for that. Mm-hmm. And the, those Lester Youngs and mm-hmm. and all of those uh, uh, musicians who c- came up with him, uh, and, and I just marvel at the musicians that came out of Pittsburgh oh, yeah. that made the difference. Mm-hmm. But you have to celebrate the Carl Murphys who didn't leave Pittsburgh. Who are here? Now, there's a lot to, be, to to learn from you because, you know, and that's what I'd love to see, with to yeah, to well. be able to sit down and have young people ask ask quick, including me. I'm I'm younger. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so to, to ask mm-hmm. the questions, what what was it like? Uh, uh, you know, how did you get influenced? And you were talking about that earlier. That's the history. It's not in a book. It's, you know, passed on like the old like, African tradition, mm-hmm, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and, and that, that to me is so important. So I guess my niche that you talked about, or the niches that we all find, <clears throat> was to help preserve that and pass it on as, as uh, pure as you can possibly do it so mm-hmm. that the, the right information is out there that can be built upon. Right. And I think that that's so, so important. 